The University of New Hampshire sells itself as the just right school, not too big, not too small. I often describe UNH as being in the Goldilocks and the Three Bears scenario. But one thing the university is still striving for, a more multicultural campus. We wanted to find a way that would maybe give us a unique pipeline to students that not every other American and international university was utilizing. That pipeline is extending to students from China, where a majority of the university's international students originate. For the first time, UNH will accept scores from the Gaokao, China's notoriously difficult university entrance exam. UNH is the first flagship state school in the United States to make the move. China is a dominating force in the economy, in the global economy, um, and that um, it's important for American students and other international students to get to know students from China. Competition is high for limited slots at top universities in China. UNH's new policy helps expand opportunities for Chinese students. Rui Sun, a student from China studying at UNH, knows that all too well. The period they, pro, uh, they prepare for the Gaokao is very stressful, uh, especially the, the last year. With UNH's new measure, Chinese students don't have to spend extra time preparing for the typical standardized tests required for studying abroad. The change means Chinese students can enroll as early as this coming fall term, which at UNH begins in late August. That puts them on a fast track. This isn't the only way the University of New Hampshire is looking to attract more Chinese students. A feature on its website has a section in Mandarin explaining how the admissions process works. Specialized staff are also on hand. We have someone who is in China um, that can talk to families about their interest in the university. Critics have said the Gaokao is not a fair assessment of a student's academic credentials. They point to the exam's focus on rote learning rather than creativity, which is more favored in higher education in the U.S. There is no one perfect predictor of academic performance in university at all. And so while the Gaokao is an important component of the application process for these students, it's not the only thing that we're going to consider. Let's be our own best self. A handful of other universities around the world have also adopted a similar Gaokao policy. The University of San Francisco, which is private, was the first in the U.S. to do so. It reports the policy a success, attracting top students from China whom they say perform well academically. The university hopes that its new Gaokao policy will not only benefit students from China, but the rest of the student body by bringing in new perspectives into the classroom. UNH junior Fang Zhou Xu is from Hong Kong. Xu says he's helped expose his American classmates to Chinese culture. I care about my cultures, what my habits. Sometimes we just uh, have a little bit of uh, differences. That's kind of interesting. It's too early to say how many more Chinese students will make the move. But the hope is that this just right school will be just the right fit for a more diverse student body. I have an opportunity to study and get closer to my dream. Francis Coe, CGTN, Durham, New Hampshire.